We're going to do you one. This is the title cut off of our brand new album entitled Hard Times on the East Run record label. This tune right here is an original written by my dad, Jeff Powell. It's called Hard Times. Here we go. Got that thing ready? CD on the East Run record label. This is an old Bill Monroe number, one of my favorite numbers to sing. It's one called On and On. Get him up in tune here. Here we go. A little On and On.
sun goes down. By your side is my destination. The road is clear and that's where I'm found. On and on. by a man named D. Ford Bailey. D. Ford was the first, uh, the first African American that ever played the Grand Ole Opry. He was quite the harmonica player. Bill Monroe was absolutely taken back by D. Ford and they actually took him on the road back in the 1940s. And as you guys know, that wasn't the thing to do in the 40s, but Bill didn't care. He appreciated D. Ford for who he was and what he did. This one's called the Evening Prayer Blues and Bill played this one all the way up to the end uh, long after D. Ford died in memory of D. Ford. Silas is gonna do a little bit of D. Ford's harmonica part first on the mandolin, kind of the way he wrote it originally. And then Dad and I are gonna join in somewhat like the Bluegrass Boys did. This one's called Evening Prayer Blues and it's, uh, it's on our first release we had there on East Run Records. One called Picking on a Legend. Kick it off there, Silas.
take the evening prayer blues right there. How about huh? I'm gonna get him up here on a fiddle for you folks. What do you think? Got a couple special tunes we like to do, get him on a fiddle for a little bit. You know, if it wasn't for the man that this next song was written about, we wouldn't have this music we love so much called bluegrass music. We're all here because we love bluegrass music. And we all know the story of Bill Monroe. And he lost both of his parents when he was very young. and His siblings, they ran off to Indiana and they found work up there. Bill, he moved in with his Uncle Penn. Pendulum Vandermeer was his name. Up there racing Kentucky on the mountain. And Uncle Penn, he was a barn dance fiddler and a square dance fiddler. And he was friends with a lot of those blues musicians that traveled through the country. And at a very young age, Bill said, you know, he said, I, I've got to combine this music somehow. I've got to figure out a way to put this blues music that I'm hearing with this barn dance and this square dance fiddle music that I'm hearing. And folks, that's where, that's where bluegrass music came from. But we like to do this one in honor of Uncle Penn. It's a Bill Monroe tune that Ricky Skaggs made famous. We do it a little bit more like Bill did. It's one called Uncle Pan. We hope you like it. We're coming from far away the dance all night till the pretty day. All the color goes to bed. one killing tune in a bluegrass set at every festival it seems like you can't have bluegrass without a killing tune so uh, this is our one killing tune it's an original tune that my dad wrote it's on this hard time CD that we have for sale right here at the white tent it's on the East Run record label the thing that sets this song apart is most of those killing tunes every time that the, the girl got killed the old boy he felt sorry for it well this time he didn't so uh, so uh, this is our killing tune. It's one called Harley Johnson. We hope you like it, folks. Well, my name is Harley Johnson. Making moonshine is my trade. 
I'll roam from town to town and sell for whiskey that I make. Well, in case you didn't know it well, I am an honest man. I won't tell you what you want to hear, you'll notice where I stand. If you did, you always seen Roy Clark up there, and Roy'd say, now folks, this is a trick. You gotta pay attention, because this is a trick. And he'd do something, he'd play a slide guitar with a drinking glass, or he'd do something like that. Now, we ain't gonna play no slide guitar with a drinking glass, but I assure you, this is a trick. And you gotta pay attention. It goes by kind of fast. But it's kind of a trick. And, and see this right here? This is part of it. And I don't know about y'all, but I think that hat looks better on my bass than it does on his head anyhow, so. There it is, but uh, this is a trick, folks. This is an old number. About everybody and their brother's done it. Ricky Skaggs has done it. We love to do it. It's one called Get Up, John. We hope you like it.
told him he gets a little better sound when he gets that mandolin up against his head because I think it's a little hollow there. And <laughs> you know, the first time he ever did that, folks, we was practicing in the basement. He's got a sticker on his mandolin case. It's a quote from Bill Monroe. that says, that ain't no part of nothing. I said, Silas, you need to do that on stage. I think folks would like that. And he said, Dad, if Bill Monroe would see me do that, he'd say, that ain't no part of nothing. I said, well, I don't know. I think Bill might have liked it a little bit. What do you guys think? You know, uh, we talked about Les Sayers there earlier. We're here because of Les, folks. Uh, uh, he followed us around, and, and uh, he was the first DJ that ever gave us any airplay. And uh, he's kind of he was kind of there for us from the very beginning. And it seemed like once he started playing our stuff, everybody started playing our stuff. And and he talked to Jason here at Chantilly, and, and he told Jason, he said, you got to have these guys at Chantilly. And, and sure enough, it worked out. Here we are. And uh, so we owe a lot to Les. We thank a lot of the man. And uh, I had a text message on my phone. He was going to see us down in Florida. We played the Baygrass Festival in Florida. And he was coming down to see us. He passed away two days later. But uh, this, this song here, this is probably our favorite on that Hard Time CD. It's one that Dad wrote. It's called Yellow Roses. If you listen to the words, it just might make you cry. It's one of those kind of songs. But Les absolutely loved this song, and we're going to do it for him today. And uh, we, we can't be here and not think of him, so uh, this, one, this one goes out to Les. Little mountain home, and the 
garden that she planted So long ago it's all brown and overgrown But on the hill they lie forever Side by side but no one knows How between their resting places Grows a single yellow right there. You know, uh, we was just down at Gettysburg and uh, we had a request for one. We're stepping out a little bit, a little bit outside the box. This is an old Bob Dylan tune. Most of you guys probably saw, probably heard Jimi Hendrix do it at one time or another. We're going to give it a try and see what you guys think of it.
lost hour, folks. Folks, we got time for one more. We are certainly glad that we're here today. We can't thank old Les Sears enough for, for getting us up here. And we certainly got to thank Jason for bringing us up here. And uh, if y'all like what you saw, make sure you tell the fine folks here at Santilli to have us back. We'd love to come back, folks. So uh, y'all put in a good word for us. We'd appreciate it. And uh, make sure you come down and see us. We've got CDs for sale right over here at the White Tent. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all that internet kind of stuff that I'm not very good at. Silas Powell and the Powell Family Band. If you just type in Silas Powell, it'll be the first thing that pops up. Say you saw us at Chantilly. We certainly appreciate all those likes. As a matter of fact, I think we're only 20 likes away from 1,500. So I know we got 20 out there somewhere, folks. So uh, make sure you give us a like on Facebook. My name is Josh Powell. This is Silas Powell, my son. This is Jeff Powell, my dad. We're going to leave you with a train song, good old train song. I want to hear your best train noise. Come on.
Theodore Silas Powell and the Powell Family Band. We certainly appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Let's hear it one more time for the Silas Powell Band, ladies and gentlemen, out of Salem, West Virginia. And what a great audience you are. I hope you'll shop with all the bands. Be sure and meet and greet with the bands. They'll all be set up for you, generally right over here in this direction. So spend some time with the bands, get to know them. And they've brought, they've, they're always uh, bringing CDs and shirts and things with them. Uh, all the different bands have different things. So go search them out, let them know how much you appreciate them. And that's, uh, that's a, a great way to keep everybody in business. And we certainly want to do that. Want to keep the bands in business and bluegrass festivals like this in business. Hello, Chantilly. What a great day this is. We are sitting here.